Hey, what's up, guys? It's Matt. Welcome back. And we have a ton of crypto news to talk about in today's video. So if you guys are new, make sure to drop a like and get strapped in. We have a lot to discuss. So the first thing that is really quite shocking to me is the fact that Bitcoin has actually had a pretty rough slip here uh, over the past day. Now, you guys can see we hit our bottom uh, of around 45 uh, and change, you know, a little bit below 46 here. But what is nice is that it looks as if we won't be headed below 45 very much in the near future because we do have two instances here of some historical precedent where we went down to around 45 and change again and then same thing we bounce back so what this is showing is that in multiple instances even on the 29th you could argue uh the low 46s in three different instances on december 29th over here on the 31st and today of course on the third we are encountering these prices and every time we are bouncing back and Really, when you look at the three-month chart, you could see even more of this happening. So this definitely is kind of a good sign in terms of establishing a long-term support for Bitcoin. It's definitely something that, you know, we want to achieve in the near future. And uh, you guys can see that the idea here is that a volume, you know, across the big exchanges like Coinbase and Crypto.com and all of these centralized exchanges, the volume has been a little low today. And um, this guy, Andrew, too, said that it has been a choppy uh, sort of run here since that big drop in December. And that is really where things, unfortunately, uh, started to kind of head downhill was in early December, where we saw this kind of crash that unfortunately a lot of folks have not uh, been able to recover from so definitely something to keep in mind and again it looks as if the volume has just been kind of slowing over the past few days which not necessarily is a bad thing it's just a matter of how much buy volume and sell volume there is and unfortunately with this volume decrease there was just a little too much buy volume that was lost and the sell volume managed to eclipse that so that's the unfortunate deal with bitcoin right now but i do hope that things will improve in the future now before we any further guys make sure to check out weevil down below in the description if you guys are interested in getting started trading stocks and crypto including bitcoin and all that stuff down below in the description for a limited time folks you guys could go over there and actually get access to some level two trading quotes uh, for now in January only. So if you guys are watching this in January, that is your time. So if you guys use my link, you guys get access um, to some higher level analysis from Webull. This is normally something you'd have to pay for. But if you use my link down below in the description, you guys can get that for free. Uh, in other news, folks, Eminem has actually purchased a Bored Ape Yacht Club NFT for $462,000. Uh, you know, this guy definitely does have a good deal of money, I would say, from uh, a lot of, you know, streams on uh, his music career and whatnot. So uh, he spent 123 Ethereum on this, almost four hundred sixty two thousand dollars he uh, changed it to his twitter profile picture all of that and you know these might not seem like that important events you know he's not particularly relevant these days but uh, regardless um when you get people who are of you know significant wealth investing in this it always does help i remember when steve harvey uh purchased a solana nft he purchased um one of the solana monkey business profile pictures a couple months ago so things like this definitely do help out you know it's really the culmination of all of the celebrity wealthy kind of movement uh to a lot of these nfts you know snoop dogg has been a very big ethereum whale um for those that you know might not know but you know i definitely do think this is pretty cool considering over time stuff like this does add up you know not not the biggest story of the year or whatever but definitely does add up over time uh bringing board api club as well to a 10 billion dollar valuation which is just absolutely ridiculous so that's pretty crazy stuff now another story that uh, definitely did stand out to me um was actually the fact that OpenSea uh, has been sort of questioned in terms of how decentralized it is because there was a stolen board ape yacht club which uh, was worth around 1.9 million dollars and uh, apparently this was done in a phishing attack uh, and OpenSea was able to actually recover it so um, all 16 of his NFTs were stolen he said he was hacked yada yada um, and essentially they were able to um, go back and be able to give this guy his uh, his apes. So they said that all apes um, were frozen while they were helping him, you know, recover his assets. Uh, but the question is, and what a lot of people have been saying, uh, is that people were, you know, basically concerned that this really isn't all that decentralized because 
in, in the end, you know, it, it's nice that this guy got his one point nine million dollars back. Believe me, I'm I'm happy about that. But you know, people are saying that this is not truly decentralized because no one should be able to step in. You shouldn't be allowed to step in and go in and remove ownership from someone who still does have this NFT in their wallet. You know, the guy who committed this phishing attack while being an absolutely awful person still had it in his wallet and OpenSea did somehow have the power to be able to freeze the entire buying and selling of the Board Ape Yacht Club. And that definitely is not good in a sense because you're showing that OpenSea is a lot more centralized. So definitely two sides to the story. You know, for me personally, I'm still happy this guy was able to get his stuff back. Ultimately, uh, I think that's probably the most important in this story. But regardless, uh, definitely something to note. Now, in other news, the Mutant Ape Yacht Club uh, have actually been surging here uh, in price. And this was a spinoff that I've been monitoring for a while. I saw uh, these serums a long time ago. I definitely do uh, think they were a lot cheaper than they are now but mind you when I first saw them they were still unaffordable for me and most people but it's had around 71 million dollars in volume over the past uh, few days here and uh, the average price has went from 8 ethereum to over 12 ethereum which is just absolutely bonkers uh, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing these at around 2 or 3 ethereum uh, I wouldn't swear on it but I'm I'm pretty positive I saw these around 2 or 3 ethereum uh, a long time ago so uh, this fella just bought one for 888 ethereum which is just just bonkers. I mean, I would not put that amount of money into this project if I had it. I don't, but if I did, I would not put that amount of money into the serum. I would say uh, a safer bet is probably just buying a board ape, but this guy was pretty uh, insistent, it must seem, um, and he's the co-founder and former director of technology at the Ethereum Foundation, so definitely uh, does... Um, seem to have some money probably behind him, uh, but he's going to use the serum to create his mutant ape uh, on live stream. So um, I guess you can use this serum to help form um, your ape if you wanted to. You can create a mutant uh, from that. So uh, if you are if you guys are, are in tune with how all this stuff works, let me know uh, because I don't really follow um, these serums as specifically, but definitely a crazy story. Again, quite the investment uh, from this guy here, getting it for 3.6 million million dollars that's just bonkers now before I go any further, guys, make sure to check out my Patreon, guys. The link is down below in the description. But if you guys are looking to get started trading cryptocurrency, if you guys want to get special access to my private Discord chat where you guys can talk just one-on-one -on -one and have basically my undivided attention uh, in my Discord chat, as well as access to my altcoin checklist and so much more, make sure to check out my Patreon, guys, down below in the description. It is only $10 a month. It does help support me in the channel. And honestly, I do think it is worth the money. I've had a lot of people tell me that it looks as if the Patreon is a good investment. So definitely check it out. Link down below in the description. Now, the final story I want to show you guys for today is actually the volume of NFT sales here on OpenSea. So this uh, on January 2nd is the fourth highest day of sales to date. So uh, just to give you guys some perspective, I mean, this is literally insane compared to some previous months. You know, the volume does start to grow in August, but, uh, you know, really peaking in September but definitely getting closer to some of those peak September days. It looks as if, you know, NFTs are really going to have a second run. And I notice that this tends to happen when you see crypto like Bitcoin and Ethereum not performing as well. And I think what happens is once the price of Ethereum and Bitcoin starts to do really well, then people will get out of NFTs to get some liquidity. And that causes the floor on a lot of these NFT projects to collapse. So definitely keep that in mind. I do think that right now it is probably a good time to get into some NFTs. Uh, of course, they are risky, they are speculative, you know, do your own research. But I would say that while the market is in this state, it probably is a better bet than when Bitcoin and Ethereum are absolutely soaring. So with that means everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more videos coming out every single day on the channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let me know down below in the comments which of these stories you found most interesting. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace, everyone.